after you've read through the premise of the populations of gray wolf and elk being analyzed, <clears throat> you're going to see that the objective is that you need to analyze the populations of wolves and elk to explain the interactions between the two organisms. You need to create a double line graph by plotting the points from the data table above. Use red for wolves and blue for elk. So I'm going to use red for the wolves. I'm going to circle it red on here so I remember it's red. And then I'm going to use blue for elk. You can use colored pencils or pens or markers, whatever you have, to use red and blue. So to make a data table or to make a double line graph, the first thing you need to do is you're going to ignore one of the sets of data because you're just going to make you're going to plot one of the sets of data first. So I'm going to start with the wolves. Okay. Oh, and I see there's a typo, so it should say the year 2000, right? Not 200. Okay. So in the year 2000, the wolf population was 10. So on my graph. I'm going to find that these are the years, right? These are the years. And in the year 2000, the population of wolves, now I'm gonna see that the wolves are over here. The wolves were 10. So I'm going to go up at 2000, I'm gonna go up to where it says 10, and I'm gonna make a dot, okay? Year 2001, it was 12, so year 2001, I'm gonna find where it says 12, and I'm gonna find where those two points intersect, right here. And I'm gonna make a dot. <clears throat> Year 2002, there was 16. So 16, 2002. And I'm going to continue doing that for all of my um, wolf population points. When I'm done plotting all of those points, I'm going to just use a line to connect the points. I'll do one more, how about 2003 is 22. So 2003 is 22. Okay, so I'm gonna have a line going the whole distance, okay, how, wherever it goes up or down. Then, once I'm done plotting my wolf population, this is not done, this is just started for you. But once I'm done plotting my wolf population, then I'm going to ignore the wolf population and plot the points from the elk population. So I'm gonna do the same thing. In year 2000, the population was 2000. So on my graph, <clears throat> I'm gonna to go to year 2000, but this time I notice that the number of elk is on this side, okay? So in 2000, I'm gonna go up to where it was 2000 for elk and draw a dot. The next point is in 2001, it was 2,300. So in 2001, it was 2,300. Draw my dot. In 2002, it was 2,500. 2002, 2,500. Again, I'm going to do that for all of my points, okay? Um, let's do one more, 2003. 2003 was 2,210. So there is not a 2,210, so I'm just gonna go like maybe right above where the dot would be, just to show that it's not quite 2,200. And then I'm going to connect all of the dots with the lines in order however that is gonna look. And then when I'm all done plotting all of the points, I will be able to see how the lines are related to each other to see how the population fluctuations have affected each other.